Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar series on bridges, bridges and culverts. My name is Adam and I'm a civil engineer from Poland. I have been working at Viacom for almost 18 years. I will be your host for today. I'm happy to see we have a large audience with more than 200 participants. This is very great. I really appreciate that you decided to spend this around 90 minutes with us. Today's webinar is the first one on the series that free we plan to run during this fall. You can read the details about this on our webpage, viaconacademy.com. Let me share my screen now. I assume that many of you know Viacon, in fact, some of you are our friends already. However, for those of you who might not know us very well, here is a short introduction to the Viacon group telling you about who we are, what we do, how we do it, and where we are headed. The Viacon group is an international provider of innovative engineering solutions to build civil structures like, among others, bridges and culverts. Viacon companies are located, as you can see on the map, with orange color, and our main region is Europe. However, our solutions also reach distant regions on other continents. We provide high quality expert engineering solutions in three core areas. First are bridges and culvert solutions, which has been traditionally Viacon core business for a long time, before we started to expand to other areas. Today's webinar is related to bridges and culverts, as you already know. Second area, Geocentrical solutions where we solve issues in the field of geocentrical engineering. And third area, stormwater solutions where we deal with the challenges of stormwater management. We focus on the solutions that match the needs of our customers in our rapidly changing world. Our applications cover many market sectors and industries, starting from roads and railways, coming to forestry airports, and others, as you can see on the screen. Let's now come back to our main topic for today. Today we talk about aesthetic arrangement in a landscape architecture of bridges and culverts with the use of corrugated steel that Viacon promotes as an optimal sustainable solution. That we try to answer why the aesthetic of bridges and culverts is an important area, and we'll also try to prove that when we design the bridges and culverts, we keep the aesthetic in mind. Without wasting any more time, let me introduce our speakers for today's sessions. They are Aida Balash, Piotr Tomala, and Yonko Dabrev. Aida holds a Master of Science in Civil Engineering from the Civil Engineering University of Sarajevo. Nowadays, she lives in nice city, Dubai, and she is Dubai Municipality Licensed Engineer for Landscaping Works. Aida is a civil engineer with six years of international experience and passionate about efficient and sustainable infrastructure solutions. Piotr Tomala holds a Master of Science in Civil Engineering with 22 years of professional experience, both as a site engineer and designer. He graduated from Wrocław Technical University in Poland. Post Piotr is also an author and co-author of many technical papers for international conferences. Jonko Dobrev holds a Master of Science in Hydraulic Engineering with 10 years of professional experience as a site engineer, designer and supervisor. He graduated from the University of Civil Engineering, Architecture and Geodesy in Sofia and also Technical University in Vienna. He continues his professional development as a PhD candidate at the hydraulic department of the university in Sofia. Yonko is also an author of some international papers related to the river ecology and hydraulics. So let me start sharing my screen again. Now some information about the agenda for today's session, which is divided into the following four parts, as you can see on the screen. In the first part, Piotr will talk about aesthetic of bridges and culverts in landscape outside urban areas. In the second part, Yonko will present solutions in inland and outlet 
to make it hydraulically efficient and aesthetic. And in the third part, Ida will show solutions in urban areas. And we have also the fourth part, which is Q&A session in the end. Please note that you can use the chat function during, during the webinar to ask questions and share your comments. We'll select the most frequent asked questions and try to answer them in the end of the webinar. All other questions posted during the webinar that we'll not have time to answer we publish later on our webpage viaconacademy.com and you will be notified through email. I will be running the slides for our speakers. If you notice any technical problems with your access, connections or view, please write in the webinar chat if possible. Alternatively, send an email to help at viaconacademy.com. We'll try to help you quickly. For the most optimal viewing experience, please click on the three dots appearing next to the name on the bottom left corner of the Teams window and select the fit to frame option. And with that, I leave you in the able hands of my colleagues. Piotr, the floor is yours. Thank you, Adam. Uh, once again, very warm welcome of our audience from Diacon's Polish office. In this part of our webinar, uh, Aesthetics Arrangement in the Landscape Architecture, I will be focusing on bridges and culverts applications in natural environment. Let's begin with the simple introduction, uh, basic definitions of landscape and landscape, landscape aesthetics. A landscape is where we all make our homes, when we do our work, when we live our lives, when we dream our dreams. Aesthetic value of landscape is considered to contribute to quality of life by providing inspiration, harmony and peace. Landscape aesthetics is defined uh, as an, the enjoyment and pleasure felt through the observation of environmental scenery. We are the manufacturers of steel structures and are able to produce it in various shapes. There are open and closed profiles with a wide range of spans possible and available. Corrugation has two basic functions. First, gives the structure bending stiffness and the second is the texture which touch aesthetic aspects. As a texture rule, as the larger is the structure, the larger the texture should be. In that way, the corrugation size is the derivative of the structure span and it's delivered in three different brand types, multi-plate, super core and ultra core. The corrugation of each of these structures is engineered to deliver optimum performance and aesthetic value for the project. Corrugation also assures the strength of the structure when increasing the structure span, we need to increase the bending stiffness too. Thanks to this, we are able to cross even the larger spans. Bridges are among the oldest structures used by, by mankind. From meeting purely utilitarian necessities, bridges have evolved with the time to become symbols of human progress of cities and entire countries. Among the thousands of bridges around us, or the bridges that we all admire, the bridges that are the symbols of the eternal human aspiration for building structures that are longer, taller, stronger and faster. Today, many engineers working on bridges believe that due to their education, experience and skills, they are able to work alone and do not need any architectural involvement in bridge design except for secondary elements like vehicle and pedestrian guardrails and light bars. Other engineers work with architects or at least consult an architect for their bridge design. Since the structures are mostly exposed, bridges are the sensorous constructions. Therefore, the bridge designers must consider aesthetics. They are the ones that best know how to resolve the challenge of balancing the contradicting requirements for robustness and slenderness to obtain security and elegance at the same time. 
When designing the bridges, engineers always think about the function, about form, bearing capacity, deflections, and usually forget about the aesthetics. Apart from the already mentioned technical issues, the aesthetics, which are usually neglected, seems to be most important one. In the big family of bridges, we can distinguish the buried bridges, where the steel or concrete shell is amassed in the surrounding soil. Such bridges can perform the following functions. Bridges, which allows us to cross the rivers. The great separations, which allows us to separate the traffic on two different levels. Uh, underpasses allows us to cross the road, separating the traffic, pedestrian, cyclist, domestic or wild animals from the vehicles. Culverts, which allows us to cross the streams. Sometimes they also act as a underpasses for small animals, reptiles and amphibians. Military structures can be used as a hangars, shelters, warehouses. And industrial equipment, corrugated steel products can be also used as a technological tunnels, for example, to protect the conveyors. When designing the buried bridges, we can create the endings in two different ways. We can make them a vertical cut, so square ends, and we can adjust them to the slope of embankment. We are calling this beveled ends. Uh, when there is no limitation of terrain, we usually uh, use uh, the beveled ends. Designing the structures with beveled ends, uh, it's not a golden rule. Also, the small span structures, for example, culverts, pedestrian crossings, and cyclist underpasses are designed and built in, the, in that way. The square ends. Uh, on that slide, uh, you can see how it can be technically solved for two different types of the head walls. A mechanically stabilized earth wall on the left technical chart, you can see uh, the concrete color, which increases the stiffness of the free structure edge, and cast in place reinforced concrete on the right technical chart. Both solutions assure aesthetic appearance of the solution and shown on the pictures on the right side of, of the slide. The bevel tents. On these slides, you can see how the challenge can be technically solved. There is a concrete cast in place reinforced concrete color, which increases the stiffness of the free cut edge of the steel structure. The slopes on the embankment are paved and designer decides what type of paving material to choose. When designing the bridges outside the cities, the designers have only two options. They can decide to expose the structure or to blend it with the surrounding. That's why when traveling on the motorways, we see, for example, the animal crossings and they are exposed to the users of the road. With individual treatment of the openings, the color of the colors, pavement, they are definitely the landmarks. We should not look at the navigation system of our vehicles just to see how far we are in the way back home. We just know it. It's 20 minutes. On the other hand, we can create the bridges which can be blended in the surroundings. How to do this? Use local materials for construction of the headwalls. Use natural local stone to pave the stream bed, to pave the slopes of the embankments. Use pastel colors when painting the structures and concrete elements like a foundation, pedestal walls, colors, etc. Painting of the colors makes the structure a landmark definitely. It is like that if there are no similar structures appear in a relatively short section of the same road. Can we hide the structure in the desert? Of course not, but we can blend it in uh, with the surroundings. Sometimes nice bridges can be even be an inspiration for the photographers. Sometimes beautiful photographs uh, can even bring extra value for used cars when preparing the, uh, them to sell. 
The most important part of bridge design is the overall concept for the structure and its elements, the section of the appropriate structural system for the bridge considering its specific function, site location and required span. Uh, this concept is always the most important, challenging and creative part of engineering. Economy depends mainly on the efficient design concept. Good design concept minimizes future difficulties both in the design office and on the construction side. While experienced engineers can deliver excellent project, even without an architect, it would be preferable for engineers to work in collaboration with the architects with knowledge and understanding of bridge design and aesthetics. Thank you for your attention. And now I'm handing it over to my colleague Yonko, who will present you an aesthetics of the culverts. Yonko, the stage is yours. Thank you, thank you, Piotr. Uh, good afternoon from uh, Bulgaria. I'm uh, very pleased that uh, our first topic is uh, about the aesthetics. Because the infrastructure aesthetic, uh, not only its function, is something that uh, touches every one of us, and um, this is something that can improve our life quality. After all these uh, beautiful examples of how the corrugated steel structures can fit uh, into the surroundings, I would like to focus on the covert aesthetics. I agree that uh, Usually, the coverts are not visible, they left hidden under the road, but uh, in some particular cases, the covert arrangement could bring additional aesthetic benefits to the environment. And uh, talking about coverts as water conveying structures, I will pay attention on their hydraulic performance depending on the inlet and outlet arrangement. I consider four of the mostly applied covert endings with their technical and aesthetical specifics. One uh, widespread solution are the covert endings with the uh, head walls. It may offer a good balance between uh, the hydraulic performance of the structure and the aesthetical benefits. The pipe length is uh, reduced with 20 to 30 percent compared with uh, the other arrangements which may have positive impact on the covert hydraulics, not only on the costs. The wing walls offer an improvement from hydraulic perspective as they better direct the flow into the barrel. The angle with the head wall normally is 30 to 45 degrees, but it varies uh, depending on the site specifics. Polygonal wing walls also could be seen. Uh, different materials could be used for better aesthetical perception as uh, green facing, gabion walls, concrete blocks, concrete panels, cut stone, corrugated steel. There are no limitations. Even uh, local materials could be applied in protect protected areas or at places where the transportation could be an issue. As you can see from the example, on this slide, uh, sometimes the aesthetical perception can be provoked by a very simple solution. Here you can see the so-called projected from fuel ending type, which is a frequent solution in forestry road crossings, especially in some countries. Regarding the aesthetical perception, this is not the best way for covert arrangement as the steel pipe is too visible and does not blend into the background. Considering the hydraulic of this type, I must say that uh, the energy losses, especially at the inlet of the covert, are significant. One better arrangement, both from hydraulic and aesthetic perspective, offers the bevel tending, where the pipe is uh, cut flush to the embankment, as you can see in this slide. It offers an easy, time sparing and cost effective covert ending. And probably this is the reason for this type to be so commonly used in the Viacom family. The ending of a covert with a steel section minimizes the energy losses, both at the inlet at, and uh, at the outlet. This arrangement spares time and in some cases may fit well into the background. 
All of these uh, ending arrangements have different impact on the covert uh, hydraulic. The quantitative assessment of this impact is given by the energy loss coefficient. It could start from 0 0.2, 0 0.3 for some head walls which around the edges and reach 0 0.9 for the projected from field type. Many hydraulic models have been performed with a single purpose to estimate the loss coefficient variations according to the inlet and outlet arrangement. From the comparison between the projected front view and the head wall types could be seen how crucial the ending treatment could be for the hydraulic performance. The same flow rate can form three types higher water head at the covert entrance. You can see it on the pictures above where two types with uh, head walls and with projected front fill ending um, have been compared. Like, um, like all in infrastructure, covert design is an exercise in balancing cost with other factors such uh, as technical performance, aesthetic perception, exploitation simplicity, etc. Considering the hydraulic efficiency and the aesthetic arrangement, the most expensive solution is not always the best one. That is why it is crucial for the engineer to be familiar with the specifics of the different ending types in order to give the most optimal solution, both from hydraulic and aesthetic perception. In any case, you can see how how good the, the structures could blend into, into the into the environment. In any case, the, the imagination can always uh, contribute uh, to the process of uh, balancing. Thank you, thank you for your attention. I will be very Please, if you participate in the Q&A session by sharing your um, comments, questions, and uh, even, even your experience. Uh, further, for the urban aesthetics, uh, we'll continue Ida. Please, Ida. Thank you, Yonko. Uh, good afternoon, all from Dubai, from Via Kun Middle East office. Uh, in this part of webinar, Aesthetic Arrangements in Landscape Architecture, I will be focusing on bridges and culverts applications in urban environment areas. The aesthetic arrangement of buried bridge solutions through the approach of urban landscape concept is based on four main aspects. We have artistic approach, functional approach, perceptual contextual approach, and sustainable approach. Generally, we can state that factors of aesthetics, function, identity and ecology are the four main goals of urban landscape, which are evident in the work of our designers and, and buried bridges solutions. In the next slides, I will be presenting some of the executed projects and some of the concept design solutions of buried bridge structures. As first concept, we have artistic approach with factors of uh, aesthetics and function. As a result, we have a great urban view. In the cities where we have an active aesthetic daily life, buried bridges are bringing functional and aesthetically pleasing solutions to the urban environment. Buried bridges solutions are bringing unique design uh, that suit each location separately. As part of artistic approach, we have a landscape patterns. Our perceptions, uh, perce perception of everyday environment is affected by landscape patterns. Landscape architects, designers are suggesting to apply these patterns efficiently. So the main landscape patterns of corrugated steel structures are arch shape, corrugation and ending treatments. As main pattern, pattern uh, arch shape clearly expresses its ability to carry loads. Choosing arch shape that will suit the urban landscape environment can bring pleasing and exciting appearance. Uh, Viacon offers a wide range of different arch shapes, including closed shape structures. Uh, 
arch shaped structures with span able to reach over 30 meters and the closed shaped structures where we are able to reach 50 meters span. They are all engineered to, de to deliver optimum performance and value to each project applications. Arches and closed shaped structures offer opportunities for architectural expression due to their elegant shape. The arch is the most natural of all bridge forms, and it is generally considered one of the most aesthetically pleasing bridge types. Example, uh, I'm showing here example, design example from United Arab Emirates, where Viacon arch structures are part of beautifully designed lagoon landscape. As uh, second pattern, uh, the second pattern of corrugated steel applications is corrugation itself. A visually noticeable corrugation texture brings additional note of uh, urban and industrial texture design to the environment. Texture is found on the surface of all objects and it is closely related to the form and shape of the structure. As a texture rule, uh, the larger the object, the larger the texture should be. Corrugated texture adds visual interest when viewed, uh, when, uh, viewed from close or short distance. Uh, when viewed from distance, uh, fine texture blends into the single tone and appears flat as the distance alerts our percep perception of texture. In that way, uh, corrugation size is following size of via constructors in three brand types multiplate supercore and ultra core. As for each of these structures, corrugations are engineered to deliver optimum performance and value to the project's needs. In the aesthetic design, the most proportional relationships are based on the relative size and shape of the elements with proportional uh, degrees of surface, uh, texture, color and light. Modulating uh, placement of these elements creates a pleasing flow and movement across the bridge scene. Corrugated steel structures are provided with galvanization and polymer coated fin finish and left that way for the low maintenance service life up to 100 years. There are unlimited options to expose the texture and aesthetic appearance of the structure. On the left is design render example, and on the right executed modern example approach to the colors. One example is from Netherlands, where we have school pedestrian modern example approach to the colors. Um, and the, the, the bottom picture is showing approach with the art uh, sky design from South Korea. In the next slide, I'm showing here a structure uh, where is custom colored to provide a brighter interior or to create art installations. Here is example from Poland. Uh, the structure is painted in the combination of red and white, uh, where cars drivers have unique driving experience through this structure. This design, uh, this design is creating a, a lot of attention. The structure is more than uh, 10 years old. Uh, people find also that the uh, structure around them created by illuminated systems uh, facilitate orientation, convey messages, uh, communicate emotions, and of course create attention. Uh, so using modern light solution, we can add value to the environment and users, making uh, the location more beautiful and safer, showing a bridge in the right light, or getting a positive image across. However, lighting solutions also needs to be sustainable to save resources and at the same time prevent unnecessary light pollutions. Using segments of color and light create a form that express texture and create contrast. Uh, this is a graphic of uh, light design uh, for the project also in United Arab Emirates, showing different lighting options. Beyond safety and security, light can invoke feelings of peace, harmony and creativity. With today modern LED lighting technologies, designers can use light to spotlight a stru structure, geometry and create a welcoming and memorable experience for users. Uh, another design example from United Arab Emirates, 
adding beautiful lightings where we expose the structure texture, creating additional interest and contrast. Uh, on the next example, um, uh, I'm showing contrast is dynamic relationship uh, among part of design based on opposition of visual characteristics. Creating contrast of some design elements with opposites adds heightened awareness of each other. The photo uh, of this example is shows, showing an example of effortless lighting, but with corrugated texture and art shapes, it brings attention and harmony. Um, and third pattern of corrugated steel applications is ending treatments, inlet and outlet. Ending treatments create certain unity and it encloses the application with all other qualities. Ending treatments are designed as part of combined effects of all other aesthetics qualities and apply simultaneously creating a unity of project's aesthetics and function. End treatment uh, depends on the type of the end cut. Uh, if side geometries permit, beveled ends are a very natural way to help a structure be one with the natural contour of the land. Slopes may be finished with uh, pavings, green slope protection, stones, blocks, and other locally available material used for beveled ends. Design of ending treatments is considering project location and function in the way to create harmony where the elements are in accord, all elements are in accord, producing an undivided and unique total effect. Sloped uh, embankment, uh, embankments can be left green or finished with natural stone for the vertical and cut structures. As an alternative to reinforced concrete head walls, MSC wall may be applied using concrete blocks panels, modular blocks or, or gabions. There is a wide range of patterns to be used. Ending treatments can also integrate any architectural color treatment into beautiful curves. The architectural aesthetics of uh, MSC precast panels uh, head walls can also be extended to the inside of the structure by creating textured concrete half walls running through the structure. This design efficiently set the buried bridge on the raised engineering concrete foundation as shown on the bottom above. An additional option for urban areas uh, is uh, graphic concrete technology that allows imparting uh, durable patterns and images into any precast uh, concrete foundations. Graphic concrete gives the surface interesting dimensions, even 3D effect, depending on the viewing distance. With the limitless array of panel sizes, colors and texture, every installation can make a statement. OK, um, now we are focusing on the functional approach as one of four main goals of urban landscape. Um, uh, we are bringing systematic approach to improving products and service value. The fundamental requirement uh, is that the bridge design must fulfill its purpose. Well-designed bridge is more than just getting from point A to point B. Corrugated steel structures provide spatial structure solutions with spans above 30 meters. At the same time, with vehicle structures, uh, bring you faster, we are bringing you faster installation time, uh, lower material and maintenance cost, while at the same time, uh, less expensive materials and service are utilized in the project without sacrificing quality, safety or performance. As mentioned before, Viacon provides spatial structures. Uh, such one is uh, via constructor uh, that is awarded by Guinness World Records as world's, world's largest metal buried bridge span. Buried bridges can make a real visual impact in any urban environment with a wide variety of styles using colors, light and ending treatments. Shamal Bridge uh, is uh, proof 
that fits uh, environment perfectly with size, shape and color. Uh, throughout design process, designers are having aesthetical goals and objectives for the structures they are designing. Uh, vehicle structures offer, offer urban um, planners, landscape architects and infrastructural designers the opportunity to bring aesthetics to their projects with the confidence that they are making economical and functional solutions that will benefit urban areas and community well into the future. A design example of arch openings in MSC walls. These photos are showing case uh, an example where corrugated steel arches uh, find their place as aesthetics and functional solution in massive and long MSC walls. MSC wall, in this case, without the openings, is creating great separation in urban areas. And in that way, arch openings are improving function and aesthetic of this urban environment. Another example, a uh, good example is from uh, Lubin city in southeast part of Poland, where we have buried structure nicely embedded in the urban area. Having a corrugated steel overpass in this case fits function needs and uh, its environment. Uh, from aesthetic point of view, uh, we have hardly noticeable overpass structure also, as a technical stain from a uh, skew angle, uh, they are we are creating a beautiful uh, green balconies. balconies. Uh, from functional point of view, this overpass on the railway made uh, uninterrupted and safer traffic flow for motor vehicles, cyclists and also pedestrians as well. Uh, urban landscape concept, we have a third part is perceptual contextual approach that brings factors of identity, meaning, culture and history as one of the goals of urban landscape design. When it comes to identity and history, Arch Bridges has stood the test of the time. Uh, another essential aspect in design and construction engineering is to respect historical value. Most commonly, such objects impress with the richness of ornament, details and scale. Corrugated steel structure applications are specific objects and in many cases focal point of urban landscape. As example, on this photo I'm showing Viacon multiplate structure blended into surroundings of historical part of the city in Poland. The purpose uh, of culture in the urban landscape is attention to the customs, beliefs and traditions of the society. Romans first built the arches bridges 1000 uh, BC in uh, Asia, Europe and Africa. Most of these bridges were built of stone and wood and could not span very far, but uh, were extremely stable. In today's advanced engineering and technology, we can bring, bring arch shape identity in much larger spans and beautiful arrangements as social spatial structures as part of modern and urban identity. We can say that every bridge is in some degree a historical document, a demonstration of structural technique, a performance test of building materials, a comment of the value of society which produce it and a reflection of richness or poverty of its designers imaginations. In these photos you are looking at the country leaders of United Arab Emirates visiting, showing interest in their bridges, infrastructural projects and their environment in general. In this case, in this case it, it is, it's also included visit to Viacon first build structure in United Arab Emirates and this visit was great honor for us. This, this perceptual contextual approach and the concept of identity is bringing infrastructural objects to everyone, from the country leaders to local residents, as we are all looking forward to functional and aesthetically pleasing environment solutions. People should feel that some part of environment belongs to them individually and collectively, whether they are owning it or not. 
last but not least, the sustainable approach brings additional factors of ecology as one of the goals of urban landscape design. As a result, we are having sustainable social spatial structures. Our Viacon Academy team will prepare a separate webinar related to the wildlife, animal crossings, and the sustainability of the structures, where you will learn about Viacon Green Solutions. But here, as an essential part of urban environment, I will just mention uh, basic sustainability principles of buried bridge structures. Corrugated steel structures are proven technologies with global acceptance, offering many advantages over concrete solutions and grider style bridges. Buried bridge structures are components of two main materials, steel and engineering backfill. The both materials are recycled and reusable. So choosing corrugated steel structure solutions on grade separation is providing savings on the overall construction and life cycle while still providing the same functionality. So main sustainability principles of buried bridges structures are less engineer, less energy in production and shipping. We are using recycled steel. Uh, structures are built in, uh, bridges are built in less time and we, it requires less maintenance. Viacon is providing efficient and sustainable infrastructural solutions. And as my final word about this part of webinar, I can say that urban landscape is dynamic and multidisciplinary concept. And uh, with the part, uh, uh, in this part, I aim to introduce and present ideas of urban landscape framework. I have presented via solutions of bridges and culverts in the function of urban landscape concept through general approaches of aesthetics function, identity, and ecology, which cover disciplines from engineering to arts. I hope I have given you some insights and new ideas about the aesthetic landscape approach in urban areas with corrugated steel structures. I kindly thank you all for being here with us. And now I leave you with, to our host, Adam Cherapak. Adam. Thank you, Aida. Thank you. Thank you to all our speakers for the for the presentation. So let me summarize what we learned during this session. In the first part, Piotr gave us an overview covering the general technical information about the corrugated steel structures and product that Viacon offers. We touched upon the possible functions and applications of the structure. We also saw some examples of bridges and culverts in, in natural environment with two options. First option, exposed as a landmark, and second option, immersed in surroundings and not easily visible. In corrugated steel structures, there are plenty of factors based on which we must choose between these two options. And most of the selections is based on the end treatment of the structures as introduced by Piotr. In the second part, Yonko walk us through the typical approach of hydraulic engineer responsible to optimize water flow function. He explained four different possibilities of shaping the inlet and outlet from hydraulic point of view. My conclusion from this part is the better the solution in terms of hydraulics, the better the possibility of shaping the inlet and outlet in a static manner. In the third part, focusing on the urban environment, Aida described the urban landscape concept divided in four parts, artistic approach, functional approach, perceptual contextual approach, and sustainable approach. By artistic approach, we could have different artistic vision of the bridge and or culvert with chosen art shape, structure corrugation, and ending treatment. Thanks to almost unlimited options with colors, lightning effects, texture materials, and ending treatment, and other surrounding details, the artist is able to realize each vision. From the functional approach perspective, technology of cor corrugated steel bristling culvert gives us a lot of flexibility to fulfill needed function, even in very dense urban area, not forgetting about aesthetic, of course. 
By perceptual contextual approach, we understand such a way of shaping engineering objects that can that connect our feeling, emotions, and in identifying with the place we live or we are temporary. If some of you lives close to the nice bridge, not necessarily a big one, but beautiful one, I'm sure when you think about your place you live, picture this bridge is in your head. At least I personally have such situation and some of my friends don't remember my address, but they know that I live close to the certain bridge. As a last part provided by Aida, I have seen, uh, we have seen sustainable approach, which nowadays become very hot topic on our beautiful planet. Whenever we do, we have, a, we have to consider climate, environment, society. We wish to live in a nice looking and clean, healthy, comfortable place. When designing bridges and culverts, we need to think about this as well. And corrugated steel structures technology that we can promote is a green solution and give less pollution means carbon footprint reduction in the life cycle analysis compared to typical heavy concrete bridge. So let us start the last part of our session that is Q&A session. Question one, what kind of support I can expect, expect from Viacom? Let me address this question to Piotr. Piotr, please answer. Uh, we are offering full support of the designers on the design process, uh, starting from the um, calculation, static calculations, when the structure are multi-complicated in, in their form. We are also supporting with the uh, finite element method analysis, uh, much more sophisticated method than the uh, than the ordinary one. Uh, of course, uh, we can we can support you also in the anti corrosion issues, uh, which is uh, one of our basic things we do uh, every day. Uh, so I think uh, that two areas of activity are are fully supported by us. OK, but thank you. Thank you very much for your thank you. answer. Thank you, thank you for your question. question. We have question number two. What is the average additional cost of aesthetic features? Let me address this question to Aida. Aida, please answer. You are muted, Aida. Please unmute yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Adam. Um, uh, what are the average additional costs for set? Oh yes, uh, they are very main, ma ma minor uh, to to comparing to the effect that we are uh, having uh, uh, with uh, these designs, additional designs. Okay, thank you for answer. Do we have another question? Yes, question number three: Can Viacom deliver specific painting patterns inside the structure, or it is to be done on the job site? Uh, I think Piotr, you could answer this question. Uh, yes, of course we do. Uh, the most common method of painting is epoxy coating of the steel structure. Uh, the most color, as far as I remember, is probably shade of beige. It properly illuminated the interior of the conduit, perfectly exposed the the, the light, uh, and the light artificial and the natural one. And at the same time, gives a sense of the security. So we are feeling very, very secure there. Uh, it should be here mentioned that uh, if we care about the long term color stability, then the polyurethane uh, paint should be applied on the epoxy coating. OK, thank you, Piotr. Next thank question. You. What specific material are recommended in landscape applications? Yonko. Please uh, answer this question. Thank you, Adam. Uh, using uh, natural local materials, uh, we can make one project more harmonized with, uh, with the environment. And even in some cases, uh, the local materials may improve the feasibility of the, of the project. 
That is why for landscape um, architecture and application, usually we use uh, ending treatments uh, like gabions, uh, stone masonry, MSC walls with uh, green facing. And that is what we recommend for this purpose. Okay, thank you, Yonko. Question number five, does we can design lighting system? Aida, please, you, you should be able to answer this. Sure, thank you, Adam. Uh, the Econ design team can help to blend the system uh, in our structures, uh, to support designers, to fix pointers, and be part of the process of the lighting. So we will need special company, uh, specialized company for the lighting, but we Econ will follow the design process and have our support from our side. Uh, thank you, Aida. And last question. Will the presentations be available after the meeting for download? Uh, let me answer this question. I think, yes, it's nothing to hide, so we can share with all of you uh, this uh, presentation that we just presented. Thank you for the questions. So we are coming to the end of the today webinar. What a, what a great experience it has been for us to bring this session to you. I would like to thank each of you for your time today and for all your brilliant comments and questions and for being a great supportive audience. Your opinion is very important for us, so we prepared a short survey to collect your feedback. You can find the link to the survey in the chat window as well as on the Viacon Academy site. This will help us to further improve ourselves and bring to you even better and smarter events in the future. A big thank you also for our speakers for the effort in preparing and presenting the informative content of the webinar, making a tricky topic appear more and easily doable. And I also would like to thank you, Somia Aurora, Maciej Nowak, Aleksandru Stana, Elżbieta Cisielska, Dominika Podbilska, and Jacek Szczypiński, who are working with, behind the scenes and delivered this webinar successfully. Finally, I want to invite you to the next two upcoming webinars this fall. Next one is 10th of November. We promise to bring you great content and a rewarding learning experience. They will be totally worth your time. Please keep following us on our social media channels and on our event and learning platform, Viacon Academy, for news about more exciting sessions. And if you enjoyed today's session, please feel free to promote us and upcoming events in your cycles. Thank you and goodbye. Keep safe.